I meant to cover this story a few days ago. Uh, I thought it was really wild. It's sports related. Players let rip in a flatulence row at Grand Slam of Darts. That's a very awful title, by the way. I guess what they're trying to say is the players during the Grand Slam of Darts were farting and accusing each other of farting, apparently. Uh, this is uh, it's crazy. Players set more than just their arrows flying at the Grand Slam of Darts last week with opponents arguing, arguing over who had admitted some farts during their match, the media reported. <laughs> this is... <clears throat> I mean, grown men? Grown men doing this? It's hard to imagine. Twice world champion Scotsman Gary Anderson, age 47, who won the match to make it to the quarterfinals. Uh, but his Dutch opponent, Wesley Harms, age 34, said he was affected by the fragrant smell that Anderson had left as they were playing. He said he was affected by this smell. So he's playing darts. He's like, the other guy's farting and I can't concentrate on my dart throwing. Maybe this is a new... You know, maybe this is part of this guy's strategy. He's won twice. He's two-time world champion, Gary Anderson. Maybe this is his way of getting to the finals. Just got <laughs> You need a little... Your, your skills can only take you so far, guys. You gotta cheat at some point. <laughs> Coming from a Patriots fan, I can, I can attest to this. <laughs> hey! Uh, now, I'll take... Harms told the... Uh, so, the, this guy... His opponent, Wesley Harms, told the media... I'll take me two nights, it'll take me two nights to lose this smell from my nose. Well, that's a little crazy, come on now. We've all, we've all experienced farts before, it's never that bad, come on. You're being a little bit dramatic, sir. Could it be that you're just not a good dart player, you gotta blame your loss on somebody's farting? I mean... Uh, but, the guy who was accused of farting, the former champ Anderson, said the smell had come from the table side. Suggesting that it was from the crowd. He was suggesting that the crowd... No, it wasn't farting. It was the crowd. The crowd was farting. This is so weird. If the guy thinks I've farted, he's 1,010% wrong. Well, that's a strange number. Where'd you get that? It's a hundred. It only goes to 100%, sir. Just want to let you know. It doesn't go up to 1,000% <laughs> right or wrong. Uh, if he thinks I've farted, he's 1,010% wrong. I had a bad stomach once on stage before and I admitted it, so I'm not going to lie about farting on the stage. Is that what they call it? On the stage? The dart stage? Every time I walked past, it was a waft of rotten eggs, so that's why I was thinking it was him. It was bad, said the opponent. It was a stink. Then he started to play better and I thought he must have needed to get some wind out. Oh my goodness. I mean, really? If somebody has done that, they need to see a doctor, s <laughs> seemingly. He says it was me, but I... He says it was me, but I would admit it. It wasn't me. And then there's a second story that came out. Uh, it says that Gary Anderson and Wesley Harms deny farting accusations at the Grand Slam of Darts. This is really a title out there. You could find this title. I mean, this is such a strange thing. Well, this article isn't really much of a follow-up. I guess it was um, it's kind of a repeat of the earlier article. But I guess they came out and reiterated that the, we did not... I was not farting. It was the crowd that was farting. I mean, it's like, I wonder if you could, you, you wouldn't experience this in other sports, would you? I mean, can you imagine in basketball? In basketball, you got to get behind another player, oftentimes. You know, you box them out, whatever, you're going for the rebound. There's a lot of getting behind somebody in basketball. I would think that farting would be a very problematic in a basketball game. That's just my opinion on farting in sports. I'm not a sports flatulence expert by any means, but that's just my, that would be my theory. Um... What would be another? Oh, here, here's a terrible sport. If you're like a wrestling, not WWE wrestling, but like re like high school, college wrestling. You know that kind of wrestling where you're you're always behind the individual. That you're you're on top of each other. You you could fart in that situation, and that would probably give you an edge. I would say, right? Um, but in in dark dark throwing, I'm gonna say no. It doesn't give you an edge. But it is weird. <laughs>